This is a tutorial video on how to use and install the Universal AI Starter Kit. For this tutorial, we will be using a stock project in the Tor Game Engine Advanced. This is a default install. Integrating the Universal AI Starter Kit into an existing project takes a bit longer, but can still be done in under 10 minutes. First, open the zip file. Copy over the correct folder for the engine that you're using. Open up the game folder. Move over all the files. Click Yes to All. And we are done. Now that the hard part is over, we'll enter the game and begin having fun using the AI. Now press Alt-A to open the AI Marker Editor. I'm changing the editor's mode to create a new marker. And now I'm changing the bot's team to be the same as the player's team so it doesn't kill me as soon as it spawns. Now I'm changing the page at the top of the editor, which gives me a new set of options to fiddle with. Now I set the marker's position and apply. As you can see, there's now a marker where the player was standing. Now I'll change the mode to edit so we can tweak some of the values of a marker we just made. These values could have been changed before if I wanted to. I'm turning off the bot from respawning after it's killed. Then I turn on active dodge to make the bot move around more when in combat. Now let's get rid of the bot's crossbow by clicking on it on the currently selected weapons list. And then give him a rocket launcher by selecting it on the available weapons list. Now I'll rename all markers. You'll see that the currently selected marker's name changes from marker 78 to marker 01. Now let's give the bot a greater maximum range so that it will be able to shoot from a farther distance. Then give it a higher sidestep value so it'll dodge more. In addition to the rocket launcher that we gave it before, now let's give him back his crossbow. Now the bot has two weapons which it will use in a pattern because the pattern weapon mode is selected. Now I'll change the bot's cycle counter from 5 to 3. This will make the bot change to its next weapon after attacking three times with its current weapon and I apply the changes. Check the tooltips and instructions if you need further help with anything. Now I'm going to do an action. The action I'm going to do is spawning spawn group 1. Many other actions can be done here if you change what is selected. And now the bot is spawned and the marker is hidden. Now I'm going to change the bot to a different team and respawn it to have a fight. Notice the weapons changing. Now I'm going to turn off the hide markers option so I can see where the marker is. I'll change the bot's behavior mode from the default of chase to teammate. The teammate mode will have the bot follow the player around. Then I change the bot's team and apply. I edited for time a little here. I made two more teammate markers and changed their weapons around a bit. Now I'll go up the hill a ways and make another team. Set position and change the mode. Now I'll set the marker's rotation so that the new team is facing my team. When a text box is selected, you type instead of moving. To be able to move again, just click one of the pages at the top. Rename the markers. Now I'll set the position for the other markers. Whenever you press the Set Position button, it gets the current position of a player or a camera and sets that as the marker's new position. Now I'll 
Now I'll change the new marker to be on a different team and have a different behavior. You'll notice that when I apply the changes to one marker, another is automatically selected. Hide the markers. And I'll spawn group one. My teammates follow me. and I just died. If I had changed the other team's character model, it would have been easier for me to tell them apart. Creating new data blocks is covered in the instructions. And there you have it, that's how to make a 4 and 4 battle using the improved editor that comes with this new update for the Universal AI Starter Kit.